The Mission Hill community is still reeling from last week's murder of a beloved hardware store owner. Funeral services were held today by Andres Cruz, whose shop had recently been named Mission Hill Main Street Business of the Year. WGBH's Tina Martin visited the store, which has now been transformed into a memorial for its owner. Puerto Rican flags blow above flowers, letters, candles, and cards in front of AC Hardware on Tremont Street, where 58-year-old Andres Cruz was a community mainstay. He was a very nice gentleman, and um, you know I don't know why they, they came here, and uh, it, it wasn't worth it. Police say Cruz was shot and killed during a broad daylight robbery last Tuesday inside the store he owned for decades and worked in daily. It's clear his murder has hit the community hard. Black ribbons hang on the doors nearby. Everyone on this little street, we kind of have each other's back. This is a close-knit business community. Dave Hassman runs Boston Property Services a few doors down. He was great to us. He was great to everyone in the neighborhood. Uh, he helped us with maintenance and did our window screens, and we'll just miss his smile. An amazing operation, um, great local guy, takes care of everybody. Customers like Corey Lasnick will miss Cruz's personal touch, one that's hard to find. He treated every day like it was the first day on the job, and uh, he cared about every customer, whether it was a, a 50 cent sale or a $500 sale. He, he didn't care. He wanted you the best experience you could have. Because of that kind of service, Cruz's store was named the 2017 Business of the Year by the Mission Hill Main Streets, with a ceremony attended by Mayor Marty. Walsh. It's a small business community. One the city is helping to grow into a thriving community. There are 40,000 small businesses in the city that generate $15 billion in annual revenue. And there's an even greater effort to create more community-oriented businesses like AC Hardware. You don't see operations like this in their field that exist anymore. They, they've all closed down years ago when, you know, big box came in. But for now, this neighborhood is focused on healing. Boston police arrested three men and all are being charged with first-degree murder and weapons charges in connection to the shooting. Dave Hassman hopes that that will bring some small sense of peace to Andres Cruz's family and says although this is a huge blow, he and others are committed to stay in the community. In our shop, we're not doing anything differently. I mean, it's, we're a little shook up with the recent events, um, but we'll just be cautious and um, that's all we could do. Tina Martin, WGBH News. The future of AC Hardware is still unclear. There's no word yet on whether Andres Cruz's children will take over the store.